the Vupu Argus Range. Yeah, it's not really a video about a new device. Okay, this I want to look at a range of devices. Oh, it's a new concept. Huh. Might, it might take off. OVP's new concept. Yeah. Wow. Okay. AJ, mm -hmm. Argus Range has been around for a while, and it's building. And the Argus Pods are awesome. Are awesome. So, why not take a look at the latest range, the pods that they use. Nice. And give some consumer advice. Wow, all right, Martin Lewis, let's do this. Yeah, that's what they call me. Mm -hmm. So, on the table, I have the range of Argus devices. But before we start to break down into those, you have Argus pods available to go with these. There's the 0.4, the 0.7, and the 1.2 ohm. But you might not have known that you can also buy an empty pod with a removable coil. It's called the ITO coil, and it's uh, found in the Doric range. So if you like the 0 0.5, 0 0.7, the 1 ohm, or the 1.2 ohm, you can actually buy those as a replaceable coil rather than a replaceable pod. Now, the range here on the table, we've got from, as they look at, as, as they're going, can we go from here all the way through? Right. I, I've set it up just like that, just for you. Which is their left to right, yeah? Their left to right. Going from left to right, we have the Argus P1S. <laughs> the, the P1S? The P... We have the Argus P1. There's nothing better than a P1S next to your R. So, guess. There's also the G2. Then the G2 Mini. Then we get into the P2. And then there's the Argus A. Hole. Just A. No, because it's got a hole. It's, oh, with the circular with the, it's, That's how you know what it is. Yeah. It's the A hole with a hole. A hole. Right. So let's break down. One by one. Okay. Try and remember the simple stats. Right. Yeah. I'll I'm, keep it. I'm brief. already confused. Let's go. Okay. So, with the P1S, you have an 800 milliamp hour battery. You have 25 maximum watts. It comes with the 0 0.7 and the 1.2 ohm pod. Also, you get a lanyard, USB C cable, and a user manual. Right. And a user manual. Wow. I just drop it in there. It's what's in the box. Am, am I going to vape on it? Is that what's happening here? Well, you can do. You can vape as we go if you like. All right, yeah. Let's do this. And, ooh, it's the one with the DeLorean light. Yeah, so there's loads of different colorways for each one's, each design of these in the range. So with that one there, auto draw, we've got lights. It's very cool. Okay, let's go on to the next one in the range, which is the Argus G2. You have 1,000 milliamp hour battery. It's got a maximum output of 30 watts. It comes with the 0 0.4 and the 0 0.7 ohm pod. Also in the box, you get a lanyard, a USB-C cable, and a user manual. Okay, so this one steps it up a little bit with being a bigger device and a full screen. Yeah, now I and love a button. I love this because it's got that kind of high-end ceramic -y kind of finish and animation fire fire oh, i mean this vape is fire that's down with the kids that's instagram that's, language it, right there that's for all you instagrammers fire yeah. fire fire this vape is fire it's still smart mode i dropped the pod in um it may not shock you but i picked out the 0.4 ohm pod obviously and it automatically reads it 23 watts and it gives me everything i need i don't even need to use the button but i can if i wish okay so, moving on from there, we go to the Argus P... No, we don't. It's the G2 Mini you picked up next. So, the G2 Mini. Now, this is an OVP classic. It has the biggest battery in what's pretty much the smallest device in the range. So, 1,200 milliamp hours, which is a large capacity, the biggest out of all of them. Maximum 30 watts. It comes with a single 0.7 ohm pod and a user manual. So there's a couple of notable things there. You get less with this device, but the larger battery capacity. And you also get the magic pen light. Yeah, you get that cool light, which for OVP, that's it. Yeah, yeah. so if you want to you know, vape in the nightclubs. So my thoughts on this one is it kind of sits in, we're getting bigger in capacity, 
So you, I've got an all-day vape, right? If you're someone out there that gets anxious about running out of power in your, in, in your device, that's the one to go for. It's crazy that it's the highest capacity battery in the smallest of those devices. And you get less with it. There's no charging cable. No. And you, you only get one pod. But it's probably the best choice out of the... I would say out of those three, at least out of that that form factor. If you like that cylindrical form factor, yeah, spin, it's the, spin it round. You'll see there's adjustable airflow there on the back. It's the smallest and the biggest battery, and it has a cool light on the base. It goes on, AJ, from there to the Argus P2, where you have 1100 milliamp hour battery. So 100 milliamp hours smaller than what we just looked at, but you've got maximum of 30 watts, same as before. Comes with a 0.4 and a 0.7 ohm pod. Also, you get a lanyard, a USB-C cable, and a user manual. Now, now, this is where it started to become cool. Aesthetically, for me, it's my favourite one of the range. I love the form factor. I love, I love seeing a bit of the circuit board. I'm a geek. Can't help it. The light show is cool. Although you can turn it on and off if you want to. I yep. quite like it on. Um, for me, it's my favourite aesthetically and form factor wise. Just have a draw on it. There you go. Look at the light show. RGB, RGB, RGB. And of course, you've got the button. You do have modes which you can scroll through on this one, so it's a little bit more complicated. It's, it's Yeah, it's a step up. So it starts with real simplicity, as in it's just auto-draw, but you can play around. Yeah, but again, it's still smart mode. It'll still read the resistance of the coil and set the wattage accordingly. So you don't actually need to worry about any of that. And on that one, you're getting the full benefit of the 0.4 ohm resistance. Yes. Which leads us to the last in the range, which is the Argus A. So the latest release in the Argus family, 1100 milliamp hour battery, 30 watts max output. It comes with the 0 0.4, 0 0.7 ohm pod. You get a lanyard, a USB-C cable, and a manual in the box. But here is where it takes it to a whole new level of user interface engagement. Yes. Dual screens. You even have a physical on and off switch on this one, so no five clicks. Um, huge amount of con like control that you can have with this one. Decent sized battery. It's bigger than the, uh, the other one in this form factor. It's pearlescent. It's, it's pearlescent. It's a lovely color. Uh, if you want a little bit more than this will give you, then... The A-hole is a great choice. It's, and you, it's not actually called the A-hole. Is it not? It's A. The hole is the dis display part. Oh, that's just how I remember it. And, yeah. of course, you get animation as well. Yeah, and options of user interface animation. So this vape is fire is something that AJ is very keen on. Big Instagrammer, down with the kids. Yeah, massive Instagrammer. Um, that's right. The, this vape is fire, fire, yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, different interfaces... Uh, you can scroll through and have a play. So in the range, AJ, if you had to pick one. Okay. Um, for me, it's a really simple choice. Yeah. It depends on which form factor you like the most. If you like the cylinder, then it's obviously the G2 Mini. Magic pen light, huge battery. Okay. Win-win. It's um, good. I prefer the square form factor. This a bit more stealthy. Um you can hide it in your hand easier. You put it in your pocket and it's not mistaken for being overexcited. Yeah. You know, it's all the ticks. I think the P2 is the best. Wow. So Personally. Smaller battery. I thought you'd go for the latest release. I really love... I loved the P1 when it originally came out. The P2, yeah. I just think, is a great upgrade on it. So this one now has been out... It must be coming up to a year since we first saw that. There Maybe. was an OVP colorway, which was like a neon green. Yeah. Definitely the hottest one in the range. Yeah. Um, I will say, all of them are great choice, not because of the devices themselves, but because the Argus pods are so good. Yeah. Longevity in particular is just unreal. Consistent them. flavor right till the end. You'll become very aware of when that coil's tired. It, it will do a rapid fade. But it is the, and if you keep pushing it, you will get that kind of burnt tinge to it. Uh, I'm not but, being, uh, this isn't hyperbole. They are the longest lasting pods I have come across. Yeah. Like ridiculous life on them. Well, Andy, who's behind the scenes, yeah. um, he swears by them. Yeah. So, I mean, that's quite a credit when you get to play with all of the vape and, and devices say, that come out through. Of all of us, Andy's probably the biggest vape nerd. 
Yeah. He, he's in, yeah. he was like winding his own coils and everything. He was really into it. And he just uses the Argus pods now. I, I want you to take that back. You, you want to be the biggest. Out of all of us, he's probably the second biggest vape. He's the biggest vape. Yeah, next to, next to me. Yeah, so if we next need any technical information, we don't go to Andy about it. No, me, normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Let's end. <laughs> So that's been our look at the Argus pod range and all of the Argus pod devices there are and all of their beauty. OVP's there blowing rims again. Just to see you out for the outro. Wow, that was exciting. You can comment down there if you really enjoyed this. Maybe we'll do some more across different ranges. Mm. Uh, also, you can like the video before you leave. It's the polite thing to do. It is. And be a subscriber just here because that way you'll keep up with the latest videos. Oh, wow. Go and watch that. Do it. I enjoyed that. Mm.